So you have two sources of gold here. Joshua found under a burned out stump a three quarter ounce nugget. That's fairly smooth. It's it's not right out of the the uh, the local deposits here, but it's one that was carried down by glaciers and these old channels and so on, and also ends up on the same hillside. And that's why, uh, if again looking bomb below us, you can see these stacks of of round rocks. They're stacks on top of the serpentine now. That's where the old timers had ground washed this. They diverted a little creek and washed it down through little guts. Did a lot of digging. By the way, they they apparently left some of the old growth trees and under one of those stumps is where that nugget was. They didn't wash that, they left that behind. So why are we here sitting on a pile of rock today? This is a rusty piece of rock. Sometimes they call it iron cap. Uh, there's the term gold rides an iron horse it comes from the same thing. Gossen would be the geologic term, but it's the residual rock uh, around a mineral deposit where sulfides and, and other uh, minerals have dissolved away, leaving an iron oxide stain and oftentimes concentrating the gold. Why is it here and not other places on the mountain? Well, if we go to the uh, geology map of where we're at, I have to use a magnifier, but you can see down here uh, where we're at, right over here, that we're surrounded by um, sedimentary and metamorphic rocks. As the map shows, there's a fault that goes basically along in back of me here. And on the other side is serpentine. And we know that oftentimes serpentine, when it intrudes into these other formations, is a marker point for gold. And with the fault, that only is part of the key. And so apparently this fault going through here has caused some mineralization. You can see the layering. If we went up close to it, it'd have the, the uh, soapy uh, feel of, of serpentine. And, uh, but then we have the other Applegate formation rocks uh, behind us here on this contact with the fault. And so this is the area where gold has occurred. So here's the, the serpentine rock. It's fairly decomposed, has a soapy feel to it. And on top of it, these are the cobbles the old timers stacked up, and they're not local rocks. A lot of these are from, not on this mountain originally, they came down in the glaciers and this ancient channel on top of the ridge, and uh, all deposit here. And you can see the gut to my right here. This is where they, they probably hand cut a lot of this out. So the water would flow out, and they had their sluice boxes in the bottom. And indeed, sometimes when you, we've dug these out before and found gold where, where it had just gotten caught in the cracks. As we said, there's, there's still piles of unworked dirt. If you look over there, you can see that red residual soil over there. And that's, that's always a good sign in this country to what to look for. It's a combination of clues that le led us to this location. The, the geology, the fault zones, the intrusion of the small body of serpentine, that brought us here. And sure enough, there's gold. It's been mined since the old timers and there's some nice stuff left behind yet. Yeah.